we have made it. We are putting the finishing touching touches on the game behind me, the Battleship game. If you don't know what that is, you should check out the earlier videos. Now, what we're going to be doing is making the enemy smarter. Bum bum bum. Which, if you get angry at it, you can disable later, but it does make the game more fun. As long as you win. It makes the game more fun. So, we're going to make sure to have the enemy take more logical guesses, and then we are going to have an option so if the user wins or loses, they can click a replay button and start from the top. Code and assets in the description linked below, and let's dive in. And let's start off with that exception from last time to ensure the turns are occurring in the correct manner. Let's see here. Hmm. All right. So to make sure the player gets to actually have a turn and the enemy doesn't just bombard with missiles. Where's our script here? End player turn. Nope, that's not what we need. End enemy turn. Oh, so there's a Boolean we're not using here. We need to set the player player turn boolean equal to true at this point. And then what's this? No. Oh, I guess we copied this function. So we don't want that, right? We don't want enemy to have another turn right away. That would not work for us. Color enemy one. That all looks good. Now where that player turn goes to false is right when the player clicks on a tile right here. So if they click on a tile, it will set it to false. All right, let's save all of that. All right, so let's go ahead and test all this out. We need to first make sure everything is set right. So is this? Yep, our tiles. Yep, great. And let's look at game manager. It's empty. No. OK, let's go ahead and look at enemy. Those are filled in. Uh, let's take a look at our oh, our fire prefab. We added stuff to that. Uh huh. right here. So I'm going to open the prefab. And this is just the parts. Uh, the center was red. Uh, and then orange fire, labeled a bit better, and yellow. Apparently, I was mixing up capitalization, though. OK, well, that will be good for that. And then uh, our tile. Oh, good, all tile scripts. And I was just going to grab this. We could also populate this. Uh, we could have it populate on its own. I'm just going to do it this way, actually. Oh, dang it. How we could do it is we could just grab everything with the tag of tile. And then have it populate, but then we would need to specify we want the scripts and I'm just doing it this way. So I I locked it and then I went and grabbed them all. All right, there we are. And that will be used for flipping the colors for um, showing the player what was hit, what's been guessed, so on and so forth. All right, let's give all this a shot. Yeah. We need to hide that on start, but that's easy enough. OK, let's guess. Kwaboom. Whoa. -oh. oh, gosh, they got a fire. Oh, and you saw a blink. Boom. Oh, I got a hit. And two fires. Oh, no. <laughs> See if there is. I should probably be putting more thought into this. <gasps> Yikes. We made the computer too good. Ooh, two hits. <gasps> oh, I don't like this. Take that. Whoa. -oh. And notice the player ships just went down one. Hopefully the enemies will, too. Yeah. And now it's back to random guessing. No. Give me this ship. We're murderers. Oh, and see, it went down. Perfect. Oh, my gosh, they're cheating. So honestly, it looks like at this point, finishing touches. Oh. I'm going to get way too into this. Yeah. Oh, cheaters. Yeah. Oh, 
And so I just have the one indicating the ship was sunk. Oh, I have to select a tile. Putting some thought into this. Ugh. Oh, come on. And we might even raise the fire a bit so it uh, bumps up when it hits the sub. I think the computer's cheating. Yeah. Never mind. I think it's it's playing fair. Oh, come on. I think it's cheating. Yeah. Definitely cheating. Two ships. Yeah, two verse two. Let's do this. Nope. Stupid computer. Mm, this one looks good. Nope. What do we have left? Oh, I got it. We have two, three, one, three, and one, two. No, this is a four. Because it hasn't sunk yet, so it has to be a four. Yeah. Battleship. I'm getting way too into this, obviously. Yeah. All right, now I need to find a two. Look, enemies down to one ship. Where would I hide a two? Nope. Yeah, you keep missing. Hmm. Yeah, keep guessing up there. Oh, they, oh, cheater. Hehe, <laughs> still losing. Oh. And everything's going well. The enemy's not guessing the same tiles twice. Game over the enemy. Wait a minute, what? So we need to change that. But other than that, woohoo! Everything is perfect. And hopefully it restarts. Awesome. So that is going to be a wrap. Let's just make sure to change that instead of saying the enemy won, the player won. Um, and the reason I give one more turn is because the player starts. So I make sure they have an even amount of turns. And so this says the enemy one, which is not what we want. If you won, you win. Enemy wins. And it kind of mushed it together with enemy's turn. Let's see. So game over. What does this do? Oh, game over, you win. Game over, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and we can do something like this. Now, let's make sure to hide the replay button, and I might change my text just a bit, and then we got an awesome game. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna bump my text up. Some finishing touches here, and then we wanted Oh, I want to move this. So maybe I'll put the replay button more centered ish. It's kind of up to you where you want it to pop up when the game's over, but then I'm going to go ahead and hide that. And that looks good. And we have a fully functioning game. Oh, you know what I just noticed? Oh, and that won't let us. Cool. Let's see. Boom. Awesome. All right. What I just noticed, though, there's a little button word here. All right there. So. Rotate button. Let me kill off that little text. Awesome. So I'm going to post this full thing in the description, right? I'll export it and get it posted for you, you, all the assets are free to use. Make something super cool and make sure to tell me about it. I am definitely going to play one more time. Uh, a good debugging technique, if you're having issues with your enemy, by the way, is enemy script. So let's see. 
if you want to know where the tiles are, like I do, I want to cheat. I'm going to do that right now. And it's also a handy way to debug. So return enemy ships. What I'm just going to do right here is for each uh, bar X in enemy ships, right? And then I'm just going to print the first variable because if I know the first one, I'm usually pretty good to go. X zero. So I'll print the first index of that array. And you know, I can even say just uh, so I know in the console what's going on. Something like that. And this is a really nice way, really simple way to make sure you're getting the enemies hits. And so I'll actually probably uh, comment that out, but I'm going to play one more time while cheating. And yeah, because it's awesome. Yeah. And here we go. Placing ship. Uh, let's turn my aircraft. Oh, oh, and I can't hit next, right? Because it's not on board. So now. Perfect. And it highlights the next ship. Cool. Highlights our next ship. I want this turned. Next ship. Zoop. And next ship here. Nope, here. And next. Those buttons go away. Guess an enemy tile. Sure, that one. And if I go to the console, I got the starting tiles of each of these. So let's give a 60 a shot, which would be if I can count. Hey, I, hey, I got a tile anyways. Yeah, you keep missing. Thanks. Boom. Aha. Yeah. One down. See? Enemy ships. And again, I'm kind of cheating. And by kind of, I mean I'm cheating. <laughs> I am going to win with my great cheats. And then I'll do a round where the enemy wins, which will be not as happy. Boom. Two in a row. I guess I shouldn't brag. I know all the tiles. 54 is here. Yep. Yep, it is. Going down, bud. Oh, cheater. <laughs> yeah. 47. Oh, no, not the little one. Yep. <gasps> no, Sayonara. Killing it. And was that last one? Five. Flame, but okay. Ah. Oh! And again, when I was doing this, I also made the fire bump up when it was on the sub, just so it was a little bit higher and easier to see. I think I just won. Sunk. Enemy gets one more turn, to be fair. Game over. You won. Here's my replay button. All right. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead now and have the enemy win. So not as happy of a time for me. Oh. Oh, guess a tile. So I'm just going to guess in a straight line because it's not strategy. I'm going to cover as little of the board as possible because I want the enemy to win. Uh, should I do a straight? Sure, we'll do a straight line. OK, that would be exciting, but I need the enemy to win this. Oh, defeat. I can taste it already, and it tastes like sadness. See, I would be winning. Granted, I know all the, yeah. Man, the enemy is not good. New. No! no. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and notice that it went and knew that ship was sunk, so it guessed another tile. 
We do have a slight advantage because we can see, and I guess kind of in a T formation where it doesn't. Oof, two down. I should draw a shape. I mean, I guess I am. Okay, with all these, I'm gonna just go up here because again, I don't wanna win. Okay, I can't handle it. I'm just gonna start guessing. <laughs> Ooh. Something we can add is if the enemy, let's actually do that. While we're at it, might as well. To make it a bit harder for the enemy, guessing. Okay, here it is. Guess grid, right? M. If hit index is one, if it's greater than one, else. So I want to edit this else. What we'll do is right now it's completely random. And then while it's open, it's going to keep guessing. Okay. I'm going to change this up. Instead of that, I'm going to say it's completely random. And then I'll give it a if right here. And if just like this, neck index equals O, right? But instead, I'm going to do next index is less than 10 because that would be an edge or next index is greater than 90 because that would be an edge or next index uh, modulus operator over 10 equals equals one because that would be an edge or and then nine. So these are all the edge cases. If any of those things are true, I'm going to say it should guess one more time. However, I'm going to actually do even more than this. So maybe I should say uh, bool edge case equals just to make this more readable. So if it's an edge case, click, click, boom, and boom. And then what I other want to check also want to check is bool net uh, near guess. So it's already guessed right next to it. That's not as good of a idea. So if it has, we're going to have it reconsider. So what I'll do for that is we need to make sure first in all of this is uh, that these numbers exist. So near guess is going to be equal to false. And then we have to say is if near guess plus one is less than 100. If near guess plus one, uh, oh, near guess, I mean, if ind next index plus one, so we're seeing if the left two of it is less than 100. Now we can check if the guess grid plus one does not equal O is what I'm going to do. So if it's not equal to open, that means we have that tile has been interacted with it, has been interacted with. So if guess grid and near guess, if it doesn't equal O, we'll set near guess. Because that would be, well, then if there's a tile right next to it that was guessed, that would be true, right? And then I need another one of these for, and I guess I can one line these. And what I'll do now, though, is same idea. So I'm going to copy this. But if that's already set to true now, right, we don't need to check it again. So if near guess is equal to false still and and 
your guess minus one is greater than zero, then we want to check minus one. And then same deal for near guess plus 10 is less than 100. And then we'll do minus 10 greater than zero. And again, all we're doing here is making it try again. It's just going to do a better guess. So if near guess is true, or if edge case, in either of those circumstances, we want it to try at least one more time. Near guess or edge case. So if either of those are true, what are we going to have it do? We're going to have it take another guess. And let's make this a function on its own because that makes so much more sense. Okay, so bool next guess, near guess. Yeah, I'm gonna just grab all this and make the function Guess quality. And then we just want to pass it an int, which is the next guess. And then we want to return whatever this dump next guess ends up being. So current guess. And so I'm actually going to say, yeah, that's perfect. And that will be equal to current guess, because we're going to be making changes to that. And then we're going to return Oh, next index, I meant. There we go. Guess quality, and then we need to return, well, we're going to change. That's great, current, yep, and then we're going to just return this. So it might stay the same, it might not, but that way we can guess quality or check guess quality. There we are. And now let's put this back up where we grabbed it from right here. And what are we going to put in it next? Index. Boom. And I actually might do this twice. So I want to check if it is a good guess. Next index equals here. That's how we can do this. I can just pass this directly. There we are. So that and then one more time to guess to check the quality. Let's see if that does any good. Maybe I broke everything. All right, boop, boop. Let me clear this out, blow this up, and hit play. And we still get the location of the enemy, but that's okay. I want them to win, and hopefully they'll do a better job of it now. And again, they still can guess the edges and all of that, but they should have better strategy, you could say. Let's just, because I want to know when this runs. Did I not save all of it? Call this check, and then I'm going to put the near guess here. And I'm actually going to do this twice, so I'll say post and then oh near guest is the pool next index there we are 
Now let's save all that. Let me just grab this again. We can clear it, but it's going to pop up again. So wherever, I'll guess. Okay, post check 75. So yeah, that was good because it's not. What we should be seeing, for instance, let's see, 16. 16. Oh, of course, they're all called post critical stuff there. Free. And honestly, to make this easier. To follow, I'm just going to do a string of oh, call it pre. Sure. And then down here. I can do free plus that junk. Great. Save, save, save. I'm going to clear this. Uh, I guess that's the enemy's tiles, but I don't need them. So right there, it was an edge case. Let's see. Pre-check was 15. Post-check was 63. Now, should they have... Adjusted from 15 new. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, yes, we want to make sure if it is not open, right? If it is not open, if it's open, we're good. So we just want these in our script right here. We need all these to be not. If it's open, that's a great tile. Let's save all that. Now let's play. Ah, uh, 99, good old arrays. Plus 100. So let's see here, it's 93, regas 50, 50 is good. 50 is good. 50 is an edge case. Let's see here. Ah, uh, yes. So zero is an edge case, and then one must be the edge cases. Okay, so we should adjust that as well. So it's not going to be the edge case I set as nine and one. Let me zero. So that handles this. There's two things I really want to do. One is to push the fire up when it's hitting the sub. And the other is I want the enemy to make better guesses. We'll hinder the enemy's guessing first. So right here, if they have not struck, the enemy hasn't hit anything. There's no hits at all. It goes defaults here. And there is one random guess made, zero to 100. We make sure it's an open tile. And then we allow that guess to go forth. A normal person, right, when you're looking at the game board, you usually would not guess, uh, say, this tile right here at first. Because we know there's only two possible areas a ship could come from. I would guess something that has a lot of things around it, a lot of open space. And I want the enemy to behave in that way, too, making it a bit more challenging. So I'm going to do a private int for this. Guess again. Check, I guess. Int, uh, and it's going to take that next index from above. All right. Now, I know, let's go ahead and do uh, in new guess is going to be equal to next index. Now we need some Boolean values. And what those Boolean values will be is we're going to look if it's an edge case. So if it's greater than 90, less than 10, um, if it is zero or in the tens column, right, the left or right, uh, although those will be indices. So let's see, what would we need for that? Uh, let's call it edge case. So 
So if it's less than 10, right, because it's 0 to 10, because these are the indexes, not the numbers themselves of the tiles, um, or if it's greater than 89, or uh, next index modulus operator over 10 is 0, or is equal to 9. So any of those situations, we know we have an edge, and we want to be aware. Now, the other Boolean we need, we'll say it's near the guest. So if there's already tiles guest immediately around, eh, I'll set this equal to false. We want to know that. So now we'll check. First, I want to make sure that the tile that I'm about to check is a valid tile within the array itself. So it would need to be less than 100 if I add one to it. And I'm going to say near guess is equal to the result of the So we're checking if it equals O because O means open. If it does not equal O, we want to know that because that tile has been used or guessed in some way already. All right, now I'm going to do this again, except this time first I'm going to check if near guess is already true. Or uh, uh, near guess, yep. If near guess is already true, then we don't need to run this again because I know I already want to repick the tile because one of the tiles next to it is taken. So if that's true, uh, we're, we're using the negation operator. So if, as long as this is false, then uh, let's do minus one and we need, whoops, greater, yep. And then once again, minus one, okay. And then same thing, except now for uh, 10 and minus 10 for north and south of the tile. So plus 10 is less than 100. Okay, and that way we check completely around the tile first. And now we can use this information. So, if edge case or near guess, what will we do? We're gonna reassign. So where I'm gonna have, new guess, which I declared at the top, is going to be, which is different than near guess, near guess is the boolean, a random dot range 0 to 100 again. So I'm giving it, whoops, what did I do? I hit page down. I'm giving it a new value right there. And then I want to make sure, just like I do up here, that it's an open tile. So I'm just going to copy this line and paste except instead of next index, we have this new guess. So new guess, new guess. And then once we finally find an open tile, I'm gonna go ahead and return new guess. All right, now where am I gonna use this? Right up here. So immediately after I make sure that this is an open tile, I'm gonna do a guess check on what? On next index. And this returns a integer, right? Int. And so it's either going to return next guess because it's a good guess, or it will return a different value because it's like, eh, it's an edge case. I'm actually going to double down on this or double up on it. And then I'm going to check one more time if it's an actual edge case. So let's do a little bit of debugging just to make sure this works out for us. And I'm just going to put mm, in between them. So that will know we're in the middle. And then when we finish one off, something like that. And now within this function itself, just so this will be next index and that's gonna be plus And then I guess I could have just done this down here, but that's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. And then let's go ahead. STR plus. And 
and then I'm just going to put a E for edge. And plus EG for near guess or G sure. All right, let's take a look. I am liking all of that. Plus, yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's hit save on all this and see if it provides us a bit better guesses. Ooh, also the fire. So when the enemy missile strikes the submarine, I wanted it a bit higher. So I was thinking I would do, what do we pass? Yeah, I was going to say, okay. I'm going to have to edit the name of it, but that's fine. So if its name is submarine, all I'm going to do is take target tile location dot y, and I'm going to say plus equals, I have no idea, 0 0.3x. Okay. And that way it will bump the fire north a bit. And now I need to make sure to rename my submarine submarine. All right, I'm saving all of this. Great, and let's test. First, I'm headed towards my sub. There we are. Great, and play. So that's the enemy's locations, but first my ships. Ah. So that was an edge guess, and let's see if this worked correctly. 19 would also be on the edge. Let's check. So 19 would be index 19, because it's index at 0, would be 20. So yeah, that would be on the edge. OK, so this is working correctly thus far. Because we're trying to get it not to guess edges, because there's less of a chance. Let's see this time. 18, yep, that should have gone through, and it did. Working well. And now it should be searching, so it's no longer going to do this extra check because it's made a hit, so it's trying to find the ship. Haha, <laughs> it's gone all the way around it. Boom. All right, you got me. And I go. The original guess was 98. It then guessed 21. Okay. See, that time the original guess was 80. Then guessed 74. 74, I guess, was near something, and so it guessed 85. Oh, we're about to hit a ship. Seventy four. Oh, it would be seventy three. And that is next to something. OK, good. Everything's working as it should. And it won't run because it has. Yep. And goodbye. Now it will. 64. 64 is a fine guess. It went all the way through. Good. That goes the aircraft carrier. Good. And it's not going through that code right now because it has confirmed hits. And there we go. We're losing. Well, that's intentional. At least I hope. And the original guess was 10. The new guess was 4. It's 0 through 9. 10 would be 11. And 11 would be there. Yep, OK. Let me clear that. Sixty-eight went all the way through. That makes sense. Come on, we really need him to hit the sub. I want to test that out too. 
I got one. I'm purposely avoiding, but I do want to see what it looks like when the computer wins. There we go, there's ours. Thirty-two is the original guess. <gasps> Ooh, does the fire look better? It does on this sub right now. I think I get another shot at this. Game over, enemy wins. Oh, and I need to just make sure it all pauses. Replay, that's pretty cool. Boom. Awesome. And so all I would want to do to make everything stop is. Oop, I'm not in the game manager. Game over. Yep. Yep. And then let's do right here, player's turn. Let's set that to. False. And that will be reset when the scene is reloaded. And we have ourselves a successful game. And we have made it. Let me go ahead and transition into my demo. I'll speed it up a bit, but I'm gonna play through, ah, oh, I love this. I'm gonna play through it to show off the final product here. These ships are awesome, missiles are awesome, and give you the example or show you an example of what your final product should look like. I'm really proud of what I've done. I'm really proud of what we have done. I hope you're enjoying it as well. And, ooh, I really wanna win. I uh, hope you've enjoyed making this. Feel free to use the assets for other projects as well. And I'm going to focus on this. Oh, one final. Ta-da! Okay, demo time. Well, we're in the demo. Ta-da! And in the end, I am victorious, of course, because otherwise I'd have to go back, edit the code and cheat, and then redo this. But I didn't. I was victorious legitimately. Uh, quick reminders, code, assets in the descriptions. Please feel free to use it. I hope you've created something really, really awesome. Be proud of yourself. Victory!